Right, okay, I'm gonna start you off with a nice dirty sponge, a rather dirty sink. Um, house is a mess, honey. Uh, five volt USB powered soldering iron, USB power supply for the soldering iron. Um, this is where we're at with the, uh, with the unit at the moment. Still working on stuff. Some apples, very, very important. A rice cooker. Um, if your other half uh, is Asian, very important. A homemade lighting system uh, made from an old emergency light using 18650s and uh, 3 watt LEDs uh, just for good measure. Um, a soldering station, a glue gun, a recently recharged uh, drill, Stanley knife, solder, a loop. Indeed, yeah, some cutters, some serious cutters, uh, metal glue, a lollipop stick, very important. Um, some, uh, some, you know, some of those things that you use on big stuff that makes your fingernails dirty, which I try to sort of steer clear of. A current clamp, some more solder, plenty of crop clip leads more solder, um, orange means cable, which might get stripped down later. A, um, oh, this is quite an interesting guy. So um, a soldering iron uh, that is powered by um, uh, AA batteries. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's always good fun to play around with. Uh, not particularly powerful, motors, um, battery stuff, more cables, Spaniards, spanners, sorry, uh, pens, oh, what's that? Um, screws, various other bits, drill bits, um, multimeters, uh, plans for world domination, serious plans for world domination, um, and 18650s, a 200 watt amplifier which will get stuffed into some bass speakers in the not too distant future uh, keys and all sorts of stuff videos uploading to youtube and a very interesting uh, lcr bridge and finally oh i've got to show you this uh, honey the house genuinely when richie comes around everything gets busy i'm not sure quite how or why but um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a really interesting thing. We'll get to, to play with this in the not too distant future. Um, this is an induction heater, uh, a water cooled induction heater. So there's quite a lot of stuff going on there. And, um, and down on the floor, uh, we have another one of my previous projects, uh, rather big, fat, hairy stereo system and a stack of uh, 18650s uh, driving that. Oh, thank you, Richard. Um, that's probably about it really, but uh, yeah, uh, babe the kitchen is a mess, we're going to sort it out um, after Richard's gone and uh, we'll uh, uh, make sure everything's nice and tidy for when you come home. Okay, right. bye! So we're uh, starting to think about connecting up um, Mr Arduino here and uh, we're using these uh, little headers, 0.2mm pitch spacing or whatever it may be, 2mm pitch spacing, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, these are interesting guys. Um, so this is um, this is a power port here. I do apologize, I'm trying to go one-handed. Uh, we've got uh, analog ins, these are all analog ins. Uh, there's a double stack of digitals there, in and out, which are uh, quite interesting. <laughs> really not. Um, and if I could read that. Multi, I tell you what, my eyes are getting terrible. I've always fancied trying this. See if we can do it with the loop. Communication. All right. There you go. That was the loop. Sorry. Just. Uh... And then a whole bunch of PWM. Uh, pins there. What you doing, Rich? Soldering, I think. I think it's soldering. It's yeah. switched off again because I have to keep. I have to have outside of or something to keep wobbling to make it work. <laughs> it works great if you wobble. I do that every now and again. <laughs>
the old uh, five volt soldering iron. Make sure it keeps going for me. Quite a good invention, really. Yeah.